Hello everybody, it's Dirk and Dirk. I just found the perfect way of doing weapon testing. Even Cold Fire didn't think of this one. So, I'm trying to test here. We got the mace over there, got a sledgehammer over there. Which one is a better weapon? There's a lot of ways to test. I figure the best way to test usually is to shoot them up at the same time and see how quickly they can shoot off apart. Because damage is just a bunch of numbers. I want it's about practicality. How long will it take? for each of these weapons to shoot off a play a drain plow. How do we actually do that at the same time without the magic of all the editing? Uh, here we go. I know what you're thinking. How does he talk of this stuff? How does he talk of it? It's so scientific, you just can't even stand it, right? There you have it. The mace is a teeny little bit better. Of course the mace does charge, and that's also a thing. So of course, when this mace is charged, it's gonna do a lot more damage than if it's not. For example, just for hell of it, I'll do it right now. One, two, three, and four. This vehicle is so battle ready, how can you even stand it? When it's charged and it's close up, it's gonna do 42. When it's not charged, it's gonna do 30. For me, I'm always so bad with these weapons because I always, kind of sneak up to somebody. I shoot first the like kind of a jab and you know, not even that close. I'm really far away. And then poof, I'll get something, but I'll waste my charge. And now I'm on the guy and there's no more charge and it's, you know, that's what it is. So that was that. We of course are going to do more testing. So now we just have to test. How about its epic counterpart, Thunderbolt. Again, something else that charges, but we're not going to talk about that just yet. We will do that a little later. We will test this now. Going to see which one does a little better. The mace on the left, the thunderbolt on the right. Uh, no editing in this video at. God damn, I touched it at all. There goes the charge. There you go. And we shall start now. Same exact reloading. I think Thunderbolt be a little bit better route. There you go. So as far as time, it's a lot. As far as number of hits, it's just a little bit. But time is still very relevant. Of course, you would change that time by adding some radiators. That way, these maces will definitely hold up to the Thunderbolt. Let's talk about charges. We already saw the mace. It was like 42 versus 30. And now we're going to see the Thunderbolt. The Thunderbolt charge is going to be... 72 versus... Seventy-two versus thirty-six. That's a that's a difference in it. Psh, holy crap. Anyway, that was the mace, everybody. What are we gonna do now? Of course we're going to do the Sinus. You always have to do like that. Sinus um, is named after your nasal cavity inside your nose uh, for reasons. We're gonna compare that, of course, to a vector, plano vector. Plano vector. And see how long it does a take. Now, I don't think I have a Spectre. Sorry about that. They do have a similar perk, but that's not the point. The point is we have beginners who are barely just got their rares. They're like, what's next? I can't even hope to get an epic. God damn it. I can't even hope to get an epic. Is this teal weapon going to be any good for me at all? Uh, we shall hopefully find out. No! Okay. So they both overheat the same time, reloading the same time. Okay, so once again, as far as time, that was a good deal. As far as shots, it's less so, but still, still very relevant. And especially you get your radiators and you'll be able to test that as well. But with this epic, you're definitely getting a better weapon. And also that perk is also what makes it Kind of pop. I can't really test without the perk, can it? Because then I wouldn't be making my hits. And I don't quite know how to deal with that. Alright, let's see what else we got. What else we got? Do I have... Oh, goodness gracious me. Goodness gracious. Oh. I have to get a... Oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. I hate these weapons so badly. I have to get a rapier. <laughs> can I do it? Can I buy in the test server? I can't. Can I craft it in the test server? Can I buy anything? Can I... No, I can't get scrap, but I... Oh, god damn it. Can I salvage something? Yes. 
All right, well that was painful, but I was able to craft myself a rapier just for testing. So rapier is gonna go over here. And the storm, oh, it's so scary. It's gonna go over here. There you go. And we shall see which one is better. Of course, the storm has a perk, but it's more relative to how far away you are. So it's really easy to just test base damage without the perk by going really, really, really up close. Can I not hit you this time? Ah! Damn it. Couldn't see where I was going. Don't drive drink. Don't drink, drive, junk, drink, kids. Uh, if you're under 12, don't be here anyway, because I want to be sued by the government. Uh, getting in there, getting it. Yeah, kids should not be watching this, so I'm sorry. This is not for 12 year olds. Nope. Nope. I ain't talking to you. I ain't even talk. I ain't your parents. I ain't explaining this one, kids. Here we go. One, two, three. They look exactly the same. They sound exactly the same. Everything is exactly the same. Uh, explosion, so I am get. Uh, it seems kind of similar, doesn't it? So you have a rapier, which is junk. I mean, I don't care. I don't care. You have a rapier, which is garbage. Oh, and you have a perk. So that's the difference. You have a perk. So the further back you are, presumably, the more damage. You know what? Stupid. Let's try something else. Now let's do the fun stuff. Let's do some cannons. Uh, very short range. Here is a little boy. And here is a Hulk. And we will try this. Someone said in another video that I messed up. The Hulk uh, upgrades the little boy. I think I might have gotten that wrong. So thank you whoever pointed that out. I do say uh, dumb things. You know me by now. Other guys know me. But if you're just subscribed, I might say stupid things. One, two, three. One hit. Same reloading. Nope. Not same reloading. A little different. A little different. Um, same damage. What was that? The, there was a slight difference in reloading speed. The problem is they both do a lot of damage, so it's hard to test it shot by shot. They both do really good damage. But I can assume... Yeah, I'm going to make an assumption that it's a better weapon. I don't really know. They're both... Little boys are solid, man. But this one will help you. That's why. So the reloading was faster because it was a direct hit, that's why. So you have a perk, otherwise the damage seemed really the same. Very similar, right? So you get a perk with this, reloading is solid. Solid. Especially for the PS... That's a big PS spike, so I'm not sure if it's worth it, but you know what? I don't know. Uh, explosive, ooh, I don't want that. I have a judge that's explosive. Crap, do I have to do this all over again? Alright guys, so problems. I can't really test against a regular judge. I only have explosive judges. I'm sorry, that's just what we have to deal with. Let's do it. So the one on my left has armor piercing, which is pretty cool. One on my right is explosive. Otherwise, as far as I know, it's not the same thing as armor piercing precisely. But I'm just going to test base damage, which probably is going to be really similar. I don't think we'll get anything from this, but... Oh, for God's sakes. Let's try to get this working, shall we? One, two. And try, I mean, I can't, I know you can't believe just how scientifically accurate this is, but you know, you know science. Sometimes things don't quite go your way, hey kids? All right, let's shove this in there. La 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 la, and poof. La la, oh, gotta go back in, kids. Nope, you're not 12, I know that. Poof. Uh, we're all adults here, uh, yeah. You know, this happens sometimes, guys. This does happen. Uh, don't worry, it's natural. It's, you know, most people go through with it. There's drugs to, okay. Um, nice and easy-like, romantical. Okay, one on the left had one extra shot. So, for what it's worth, you could say it's kind of better. I also blew up my own guns. They're smoking like hell. Oh man, I'm sorry. Sorry, guns. Uh, can I blow myself up? Let's just see. La 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 la. <laughs> la 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 la. And reloading slower. So the one on the left has a little bit slower reloading. 
Is it worth it for armor piercing? Probably, probably. And you also get that one extra shot. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> Boy effect. Thank you, Eric, for suggesting that I do put up the materials required to craft teal items. This is not solid, so it's definitely gonna change. So in, for example, fire starters, now there's no more blue workbench, there's a teal workbench. Is it gonna be more? Who can tell? You want the back cab, it's gonna cost you 50 wires and only 100 scrap on 100 copper. So it's not actually hard to grind for the resources, but you also need a growl and you need a Mr. G. It's definitely not terrible. Junk bow, you need another growl and you need a sledgehammer. Makes some sense. And for nomads, now notice that there is a teal workbench separate. Of course, yeah, it's gonna cost more for those workbenches. Blah. For the sinus, you have machine gun and a rib here. And now look, there's more materials. So 50 scrap. 100 wires, 100 copper, 50 plastic. We don't know if it's gonna stick, but that's what it is for now, not terrible. The storm is a defender, rapier, the prosecutor, you got a judge and an ammo box. The hook is a judge and a fuel barrel. And here's some wheels. So now it's gonna cost you two knobbly wheels and chain wheels. Ouch. Only 50 wires, but wheels is always such a pain. It's still such a pain. Four wheels to make one teal, it's gonna hurt. You might have to take a long time to get your shivs as you always did. Shiv ST, same thing, but you need the ST wheels. Ouch. Again, don't read too much into this. It might change, but for now, this is what it looks like we have. All right, everyone, that is all that I see worth testing here. I'm not testing quadricopper. Uh, I don't really want to. Uh, turrets, I don't really want to. Thank you very much. Um, both stars are solid. So yeah, guys, like I say, enjoy, have a wonderful day, and do look into buying things like goblins that are going to switch and junk bows that are going to switch. They'll be more expensive, they'll be more resources required to make them, so right now, craft these guys and hold on to them for fusing or selling or whatever you want. Buzzsaws too. All right, guys, see you later. Bye.